Hey Charlie, I'm very stressed right now. You already see this on this video, but first things first, I need to put my tongue up. So hold on a second. Hey! Hey! How y'all doing? And we're back! I'm crying so bad because that was very a little bit hard. <laughs> if you've been here for a while, you know like I'm not an avid context wearer, so when I do put them in, it's a struggle. Okay, we're jumping right in. As you can see by the title, I'm going to Gracie Abrams today. Woo! Um, reason why I'm stressed because why are people lining up so early? <laughs> What's happening here? The time is currently 3.32. I have VIP, so I have to be there by 5.15. What am I doing? I'm like, where, what's the first step here again? Um, I'm doing my makeup right now. That's that's what's happening first and foremost. It's a little get right with me concert vlog moment, as you're used to. <laughs> as you're used to, Charlie. But, um, I've been stalking the Twitterverse and, like, looking up, you know, like, Gracie, ATL, see what the vibes are. And, like, tell me why people have been lining up since 6 in the gosh darn morning. Let's talk about that. What's wrong with y'all? Especially because it's a freaking freeze warning outside. I woke up and it was 27 degrees. Y'all are outside, 6 a.m., 27 degree weather. Are you insane? Also, I'm not gonna be saying my pros. We're just doing this. This is gonna be a very speed run moment of me doing my makeup. And also just like, why is like camping a thing? Not even like, like getting early, getting there early, like let's say three, four hours before, maybe starting at noon. I could kind of get that. I'm kind of staying behind that. I've done that before. But like waking up, starting your day by camping out for 12 hours like going at five in the morning going at six in the morning let's unnormalize that i don't think it is normalized but like let's stop doing that because like in my head i'm like that's like the most insane thing like why would you do that but like if you're a person that does that and you're watching this video right now like please tell me why you do it like is it for fun like i think i could see the i could see the vibes like if you're going with like a bunch of friends and you're like oh my gosh let's make a day of this let's make a little fun little camping day of this like Maybe I could see that, but still it's just like, it's a freeze outside, guys. It's March and it's 20 degrees. Why y'all? Why are we doing this? Because like you went early, now I have to go early so that I can have also have a good spot. Also, I'm just confused. I've tried to be like offline kind of in a way with trying to find out information about the concert. Like I didn't, I want to be surprised. Essentially like with an artist I really like, like I'd like to be surprised. Like I don't like looking at the set list. Also, let's talk about that. Can we unnormalize like just posting set lists like crazy? Because like some people, oh, I had a book in my because some people, myself included, like to be surprised. And like when y'all are blowing up the TL or the explore page with the set list, it kind of ruins my my vibe. And I'm just like, I, I want to be surprised. Let's unnormalize it. Because one, it's okay to look at the set list. I feel like it's completely okay. Like if it's an artist with a really big discography and you're just like, oh, I don't know like where to even start. Or like a big discography, you kind of just got into them. You're like, oh, I just want to know like what's going to be on the set list. Listen to that mostly blah, 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 blah. I get that. But like, let's stick to going on setlist.fm, reliable, reliable source, and not posting it all over for the people that don't want to see the setlist, blah, blah, blah. Like for my Taylor Swift show, like I did take a little peek at the setlist that we have so far. Obviously, I think it's going to change a lot, probably because there's so many days and I feel like she'll, she's going to she's gonna like do what she wants and like slay. But like I did take a little peek because her discography is so big. And I'm just like, oh, what should I like be paying attention to for real? And um, yeah, that makes sense. Go ahead, look at the set list if you need to. If it's an artist you're not too familiar with, but you're going, blah, blah, blah. Go look at the set list. Go familiarize yourself, blah, blah, blah. But let's not just post it all over. Oh, I look like so bad. My lips look so dry. Okay. So I'm trying to stay like unspoiled. And I feel like if I had been like spoiling myself or like keeping up with like all the concert stuff, I would know maybe exactly how many VIP people there are because I feel like people would have said it by now. But like I really didn't want to see any videos for the concert, like know like exactly what song she's been performing. So I really tried to stay off. Off grid, one may say. Now it might backfire because I feel like I'm late. <laughs> I feel like I'm late. I feel like I'm late for a show that starts at 8 o'clock. <laughs> okay, I think this is good enough. Is it? Is it? Should I keep going? I think we're good. Um, what else am I saying? Yeah, I'm going to change my fit. I'm also relying on public transportation for this one. I'm not going to take an Uber, which I feel like I should because it'll just be a 10 minute drive. Me taking the bus. <laughs> we love public transportation. Me taking the bus right now is going to um, take at least like 30 minutes, but it's fine. But it's fine. I'm okay with that because I really do hate taking Ubers. Like I could if I want. I if I really wanted to, like I could. But like I just really don't want to, and I'd rather just rely on public transportation. Also, I'm literally like I just got back from a study abroad trip in Greece, so I am running on like nothing right now. I remember when the concert dates dropped. Like I already known. I already knew I was going to Greece. Like that was a trip that was already like planned out. And, like I paid my deposit. Like blah 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 blah. And I was like so excited. I was like, oh my god, like she's coming here, and it's the day after I come back from Greece. Like that's so perfect. Now I'm like. Dang, like I wish I could sleep right now, man. Like the fact that I had to go to class today, wake up at 11 after getting off like a 10 hour flight that was connected from London, like after a whole like 20, I don't even know, like 20 hours of travel yesterday. 
oh babe like i want to sleep so bad i want to just lay in bed and not care about anything but i couldn't because i really had to go to class or i would have missed a pop quiz so <laughs> yeah but um i was like oh i'm so glad that she's coming here the day after like what if it was the day before blah blah blah, blah. like i would have missed it blah, blah 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 now i'm like low-key like girl why couldn't you come tomorrow because like tuesdays are great days for me i do nothing on tuesdays so honestly i'm really glad though because her last tour and the this is what it feels like tour she didn't come to atlanta and i was very sad about that so i was like i cannot miss her coming to atlanta again even though she's opening for my taylor show which is really great and awesome and i can't wait to see her two times this year like how slay of me is that but um i'm really glad i can just see her in her own show too like, honestly with my taylor show i hope people like know her and are vibing along too because it's gonna be like awkward if i'm vibing alone and like singing my heart out to all of her songs alone but i don't know where i was going with that but um yeah <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that i kind of messed up with the mascara but it's fine okay we're on to the we're just we're done oh wait i should have done something else first okay actually we're gonna set spray and then we're pretty much done like look how fast that was okay um where did you go it literally did not hit my face at all okay we're good and now we're going to put on the lip gloss and then i'm just gonna change some outfit guys actually I might actually be able to leave by four. It's 3.45 right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, you'll see the outfit in a second. Let me do a quick little change for you and I'll be right back, Charlie, okay? I'll be right back. Stay right there, Charlie. Stay right there. <laughs> I actually hate myself. Okay, Charlie, I'm back. I'm back, Charlie. I told you not to go anywhere. I bought a stepping sole because like, so you can see the outfit slightly good. But here we are. Dude, these pants are like kind of too wrinkled, but I don't think I care enough to iron them, or should I? I don't think I can. I literally wore these pants when I was in Greece, and literally last night when I came back, I was like, oh my god, I need to wash them before, because I want, I already knew the outfit I was gonna wear for this concert, and I was like, oh, I need to wash them before I come back. I mean, before, before, you know? So, yeah, now they're a little bit wrinkled, but like, kind of like, sets the vibe? I don't know. But um, yeah, here's the fit. You've definitely seen this fit before. I've worn it in the video. So now I hope you're all new here because that means you haven't seen me wear this fit before. Here's the shoes. I don't think I'm making any sense right now because like I'm speed running all of this. So I'm just talking fast and I'm sorry. But um, these are the shoes I'm gonna wear. They make me tall girl. And so even if I don't get barricade, I'll still be um tall. <laughs> this like, can be just like three, four inches, which is great. Smoothie break real fast. Sorry, this is so chaotic. That was a solid sip. I mean, I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. I like this for class today. I'm just gonna leave it. Some of ponytail. I'm cut off real bad. Let me see that. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. Some of ponytail. How I went for class. It's kind of cute. Also, like the speedrun makeup literally looks kind of literally looks kind of good. Also, these shoes are like they kind of like hurt after a while, but like only when I'm walking. I think when I'm just standing still, they're okay and like overall pretty comfy actually. But it's only when I'm walking that they that they're kind of like too much. Guys, should I just take an Uber? No, I shouldn't. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> it will be easier. But my anxiety is telling me don't do it. So I'm just gonna not do it. <laughs> okay, I'm taking you. I'm taking you. Sorry, so much happening. Okay, but yeah, final makeup look. Do I look good? I don't know, man. I feel like I look like I have a lot on. But also like in a good way? I don't know. Okay, you're coming along. Here we go. I'm sorry if this is giving you like vertigo or something. Yeah, we have 10 minutes. What do I need? I'm gonna pack my little thing. Oh, here's a jack. Oh, well, this is a crazy little angle. Also, it's so dark. I'm sorry, let me turn the light really fast. Also, this is a jacket that I'm gonna wear. <laughs> Literally, I've worn this whole entire outfit before. <laughs> That's fine. Like I said, but they haven't seen me in it, so that makes it okay. I think I'm just like saying stuff at this point to keep this going. But I feel like I should stop saying stuff. And I don't think I'll see you at the venue. So, because I don't think I'll like want to like, I don't think I'll, yeah, no. So next thing you'll see is concert videos or a post-concert debrief. I think I will. If my voice isn't too atrocious in these videos I'm going to take, then here's some concert videos. If they are... Then I'll just see you at the post-concert debrief, Charlie. And I'll talk about, like, the VIP process for any VIP people out there. And, yeah. Okay, I'll see you later, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> no, that's for the ending. I only say good luck, Charlie, at the end. So, um, I'll see you later, Charlie.
Hi Charlie, first things first, I'm sorry if you heard the, some noise in the background, my dryer's on, I'm just now realizing that that's probably annoying, I'm sorry, but I just washed some clothes and it needs to dry, so, sorry. But, um, it's the day after the concert, I really wanted to do my post-concert debrief last night, but I can't, I could, like, you'll understand why I didn't after I talk about everything else that happened last night. So, let's just jump right in. So, VIP, oh, my lanyard's in there. Okay, hold on, let me show, I want to show you, like, my laminate thing one second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So, here is the VIP laminate we got. Um, just a cute little thing. I love this little picture. Also, it's signed, which is cool. So, we got that. Then we got this, like, tote bag that says her name on it. It's actually, like, a nicely sized tote bag. If I didn't already have, like, a my usual tote bag that you've like seen before, like my little crochet one. I would use this like pretty frequently, I think it's pretty, pretty good. And then we also got this guitar pick. I do not play the guitar, but it's cute. I, I might learn how to play, just kidding, I'm not. I had a guitar when I was younger, never used it, and here we are today, not knowing how to play the guitar. And then we also get this pin, which I really like, and I love how it's like this kind of pin, not the ones that like stick through and you like put the thing in the back, because those always fall off my bag so easily. So I'm literally going to put it on my bag right now as I continue talking to you guys. This is just so cute, and I love that it's kind of big too. And oh, also I got this merch. I just got a hat, which is kind of crazy. Like, why was this hat $40 and the t-shirt was $45? And I almost got a t-shirt, but then I was like, I really don't think I'm gonna wear it a lot. But the hat, I think it could be more versatile. Like, when I go to the gym and stuff, I love putting on a hat, so. And I also love that it says homesick, because that's, as a person that is an out-of-state student and a person that loves their family, including their cat, like, oh, homesick? Me all the time, baby. <laughs> but yeah, so the VIP, for the people that want to know, I actually don't know if it will be the same at other venues, because I think this venue was just, like, a little different with how they, like, decided to, like, essentially, like, set up the VIP, like, splitting, they split everyone into, like, completely different lines, like, per apparently really early, too, from what I saw on um, Twitter, but then they were just so confusing because I got there and like it was like a crazy long line and I was like, okay, like I have VIP, I'm not gonna just like wait and like, I feel like this is GA. And there was no signs like telling me where to go for VIP. And like, it's so hard to explain, like I wish I had a video of it. Cause like I got, oh, the public transportation story. We'll go into that in a second. <laughs> I got off the bus and I started walking to the venue cause I've been to that venue before, I know what the line. And then like the line was already like coming down, like starting to wrap around a bit. And I knew that was GA and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna just stand here right like i shouldn't i know i have vip and i know if i didn't look on twitter i would have just been standing there looking like a dumbass <laughs> like for real because like if i hadn't gone to twitter and known that they like were already splitting people in different lines i would have just been standing there because there was no signs saying like this is ga this is vip because vip was in a completely different section from like where the ga people were standing so i just found somebody and i was like where's like the vip and they're like oh it's right here and then that was that on that so then i got on the live and that was like around like five o'clock and like the check-in was at 5 15. should i go into the transportation story or talk about more vip i'll talk more about vip so first thing why were there so many vip people like i she sold so many vip tickets i'm guessing like it was actually like at least like 75 people that had vip and i was like completely convinced i was like oh it's gonna be like 30 people like that's chill um i'll get there a little bit later, like, I'll still get a barricade. I'll still get, like, a perfectly fine little barricade spot. Like, we're chilling. But no, there were, like, 75 people that had VIP. Like, those sound check Q&A VIP. And I fully did not expect that because I didn't think that they would sell so many. That's, like, kind of an absurd amount. Because when I went to see Sabrina, I'm pretty sure it was, like, 30, 30 to 40, like, VIP people. And we all and we all pretty much, like, got barricades while like, it was, like, pretty chill for, like, the high, like, fast times VIP, if you know, you know, whatever. Like, that's the highest VIP you could have gotten for the Sabrina tour. I showed up, like, an hour before, maybe, like, 30 minutes before, and I still got my barricade spot, like, it was chill. But, like, this, if I knew there was gonna be, like, 75 people, 75 other VIP people that I would have to, like, compete with for this, like, barricade spots, I would have showed up a lot earlier because I didn't think that there would be so many VIP people, and that's kind of... It was a little bonkies to me. Let's talk about the public transportation story. We'll circle, we'll circle back and then we'll circle back to the actual concert, which was a moment in and of itself. 
as you saw by the videos I think I put in. So yeah, I got to the, the station because like the bus takes off, I guess, from like the train station. So I walked to the train station and uh, the bus wasn't there and I was like, what's happening? Am I going to be late? What's going on? And then, then like my Google Maps was like telling me to like walk in a different way or like go to an actual like stop instead of the station. And it was just really confusing and I kind of hate public transportation because then when the bus did come, it said I was supposed to leave at 535, Mr. Man, Mr. Bus Driver Man, literally got off the bus, left for like 15 minutes and I was just like, we didn't leave until literally it was like 4.45 when the bus was supposed to leave at 4.35. And then he came back with a whole little Waffle House takeout in his hand. And I'm like, bro, let's be serious here. I hate the bus. Like, the bus is so unreliable. In comparison to, like, trains and stuff, buses are so much more unreliable. But, um, like I said, I got there, got in the line. We were chilling for, for, for now. So then they checked us in for VIP. That was actually really easy. They were like, oh, you're going to need your identification to make sure that you're the ID, you're the person that has it. They did not check my identification. I got an email like three days before the show with like the code for my VIP thing. And then that's all they scanned. That's all they scanned. They did not ask for my ID once. So I don't know if that was just this video or maybe that's just something that's been reoccurring. But if you want to like sell your VIP to someone, it should probably be easy. Also, they were like, you can have the ID on uh, your phone. Like if you did buy it from somebody else, just have them like send a picture of like their ID or something. So then they can use that. We got in and like it was like barely any waiting. People got some merch and stuff. I didn't because like I was alone and I was like, oh, I don't want to like lose my swat. Also, wasn't really in the mood to talk to people. I don't know. Like usually when I'm at a concert, I'm like completely down to make new friends, like talk to some people, blah, blah, blah. But like, I was in Greece last week, <laughs> subtle flex, but like, I was in Greece last week and I didn't know anybody on that trip, so I was like, really like, I'm an introvert at heart, I'm a loner, a lone girly at heart, and I just was like so like extroverted last week that like my battery's so drained and I really don't want to talk to people anymore, like any, like I'm really not in the mood to like make nice cities and like make fast friends with people, so like I was like not talking to anyone at that concert i'm sorry the grease really drained me like talking to people every day which is like so fun like it was so fun i love that trip because i like all the like the new little friends i made and stuff and like how much i put myself out there to like try new things with these people that i literally did not know but i'm just like the introvert in me is like dead is like dying inside and i need to be alone so i didn't talk to anyone and so i didn't get merch until after the concert which was kind of like a great idea because you'll see why in a second so yeah sound check happened she answered like a nice amount of questions i feel like it was like it was like definitely different from sabrina i'm literally comparing it because like it was basically like the um the vip package is pretty much the same kind of vibe like no picture but, like a sound check q a vibe but for sabrina um we like wrote down her questions and then she would just pick them out from a hat and like answer a bunch but for this one, like, there was just a mic with her tour manager, Max, shout out to you, we love you. Um, she just, like, hit, would hand the mic to people that were, like, wanted to raise their hand and ask a question. It's so funny, because I had no questions prepared, I was like, oh, I don't really care about asking questions, I just want to hear her answers and just, like, vibe with her. I'll insert some pictures of her at the, um, Q&A, but she was just literally, like, in a hoodie, like, chilling, hoodie and sweatpants, hood up, and, like, answering questions, singing for us, it was so cute. And then for the, for the sound check, she sang long sleeves, acoustic, someone's like, long sleeves, and she's like, okay, and then she sang that, and then she also sang Clean by Taylor Swift, because one of the questions were like, um, what Taylor Swift song would you love to hear at tour, and then she was like, clean, and everybody was like, oh my god, sing clean, and then she sang clean, and yeah, and then that was it, I feel like it was like, it was actually like a very long time that she was there, like, I feel like it was just like 40 minutes of just like gabbing and talking with her, it was really cute, okay, so then the concert happened, like I said, it was like second, third-ish row, um, the people around me were like pretty chill, some people were like being a little too like policing the crowd and i'm just like you don't work here let's chill out what else happened let's just move into the show she is a great performer i hope i inserted like a nice amount of videos for you guys i haven't listened back to them because my voice might be atrocious but i hope there are good videos in there but she was so great there's something about like her mannerisms i've never seen lord in concert but like i've seen like some concert videos but like she gives such lord vibes like the way she just like moves while she's singing like you can tell she's truly like feeling every freaking thing she's singing or like really like in it really truly in the moment with what she's singing and i just freaking love that but yeah so then the concert happened and then it ended and then i decided to get merch which i showed you i got my little homesick hat and then while i was in the merch line i literally ran into a person that i knew i was completely alone this whole time and then i found someone i knew it was my friend's roommate oh also, oh i'm so sorry also we got this polaroid i'm so sorry we got this polaroid i was literally like, looking up i already put it like on my wall um yeah so i ran it was my friend's roommate and she had gone to the other gracie show that i went to like two years ago ish which you can see here i have the poster for it yes yeah, so i have the poster for it before here and then the polaroids up there but um she also went to that gracie show that was before she was even roommates with my friend and i didn't know she was also gonna go to this show and then i saw 
saw her in the merch store. I was like, oh my gosh, hey, like, what's up? And then, like, we just started talking, hanging out. And she literally had a gift for Gracie. So, like, she wanted to give her. You know, sometimes artists come out after the show. I was like, okay, like, I'll wait with you. It was freezing cold up there. But I was like, you know what? I'll wait with you. That's fine. And I also felt bad because if I had known that she was going, because um, for VIP, there's, like, a little, like, gift thing that you can, like, put your gifts for her. And, like, if I would have known that she was going to be there, I would have, like, gotten her gift and, like, put it in that little pile with the rest of them. But I didn't know she was going. So, yeah. But then we waited. <laughs> And we waited, <laughs> and we waited some more. <laughs> the concert ended at 10.35, like 10.30ish, and then we waited until like 12, maybe 12.30, I wanna say, for her to come out. And then it was literally a Sabrina Carpenter moment, like very much so, which kind of makes sense, but it's just crazy because the last time, like at that last show that I was like talking about where the girl went to, Gracie did come out at the end and I didn't know she was gonna come out. So like me and my friend that I was with when I was there, like me and him, we left. And then I saw pictures of people with her and I'm like, oh my God, that hurt me. So I was like, I can't have that happen again. So I need to wait as long as I can just to maybe like hopefully get a picture with her or something. But um, it was definitely a Sabrina Carpenter moment. I love how I keep comparing the situations, but like it was very much the same where she just like came out and walked to her bus and she's like, guys, stay safe, go get warmed up. Like, I love you, blah, blah. She's like in a little blanket and like Uggs and like shorts. I think somebody like got her like a twilight blanket or something. Like she was like wrapped in it. And then my friend, like she's one of your gifts. Like she like ran around to like the other side, like the barricade that they had around like the tour bus. She like was able to give her gift. So overall it was good. Was it worth the waiting? Definitely not. I don't think so. But I'm glad my friend got to give her a gift. So that's cool. Okay, looks good now. And this looks good. Yeah, I think that looks good. So yeah, that was that on the concert. Overall great show. Can't wait to see her for my Taylor show. I really wonder what that set list is gonna be like. But anyway, that's it for this video. It was a great little time. Sorry for the dryer in the background if that was really annoying, I'm sorry. Oh wait, also like, oh my God, guys, I forgot, almost forgot to tell you, but like those shoes I wore, never again. I'm never wearing those shoes again to concert. And I literally was gonna wear them to my Taylor show, but with like the dress I'm wearing, because I already have my little fit planned, ha ha ha. But like, I'm not wearing those shoes. They hurt me so bad. Like that was the first time at a concert that I actually felt like I was dying. Like I was like, oh my God, like I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. I did it, but like it was, it was, I felt like the closest I've ever been. I'm never wearing those shoes again to a concert. They killed me, they killed me dead. And yeah, that's it for real this time. For real this time. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, love you. Oh wait, bye Charlie. And that's all, good luck Charlie. <laughs>